Hello friends, today I will explain how to use the loft command in AutoCAD 2016. Here I draw some circles and rectangle. Here I will move this object to some height. For that click on this move button, select uh, the object, move. I will give it a unit of 10 unit and similarly I will move the second object by pressing the space bar, select, right click, choose the base point and I will give 20 unit of height. Here I will make a copy of this object so that you can understand easily the difference between the lofting. So copy. So I created here four copies of this object. Now I will use the loft command on this object. First uh, go to this option loft. Select this object in the lofting order and second object and the third object. The lofting order is very important otherwise the object will be in different shape. When you see the object in the shades of grey you can see in this shape. So here if you select this object in different order the object will be in different shape. So if I click this one first and then the second one this one and I use this square third one. When I press enter the object is totally different. So the lofting order is very important. Here we will again use the loft command click this one and this this enter when you create this one it will create a solid object by default the object will be draw as a solid when you move your mouse over this object you can see this is a 3d solid if you want to create a surface only you can do that i will undo this object and click on the loft command here you can see the mode click on the mode button here choose the surface and after that select this object in the lofting order select this one and this click enter use the cross sections only now you can see this is a surface loft you can see the difference this is the surface and this one we created using the solid option. So if you want to make a surface loft you have to choose the mode otherwise the loft command will be automatically choose as the solid. Here we learned how to use the loft command, what is the importance of the lofting order and the use of loft command with the solid and surface mode. Next we will learn how to use the loft command with a path option and a guides option. For that I will draw one another drawing here. One rectangle in the top. I will go to this top view and I will draw one rectangle here. I will go to the isometric view again and I will draw one another rectangle in the front face. Go to this front UCS draw the rectangle again. I will use a rough dimension and I will move this object to some specific height and a little bit in the z axis also. Now you can see the object is created in this axis. One in the xy axis and another one is xz axis. Now I will make a copy of this object. Here we will start the loft command. Normally click on the loft command, select the object and select this one. This is the normal loft command and here I will draw one 
path for that is the spline and uh, select the midpoint of this first object and the midpoint of second object and now you can see the spline that we created the path we created is like this and for this one I will create some guidelines choose the midpoint and here this midpoint also and up similarly this side midpoint and midpoint of this and up. now you can see the path line and the guideline that I created now let us use the loft command click on the loft select the first cross section and the second cross section enter and you can choose the path after that choose the path line now the loft will be created in this rail this one without path and this one using the path option and here we will use the guidelines choose the loft command choose the first cross section and second cross section enter now use the guides choose the guidelines that we created before enter now you can see the objects that we created in three different way you can see this one with only path option this one with the guidelines so i hope this video is helpful to understand the loft command if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe on my youtube channel thank you